Good day to you all, both retaining and new subscribers. On our last lesson, we learned how to run Microtik CHR on Oracle VirtualBox. We downloaded and installed both Microtik Cloud Hosted Router and Oracle VirtualBox. If you haven't watched that lesson, make sure to view it before you can watch today's lesson, as today's lesson is a continuation from that lesson. Welcome to Technology for All Academy, an academy that teaches information communication technology for free. To mention but a few, we have Cisco and Microtik series, and we'll be doing other vendor series in the future. For those who don't know me, my name is Tabam Makobe, the founder of Technology for All Academy. In today's lesson, we'll be learning how to run Microtik on GNS3. We need to download GNS3 software, and in order to do that, I'll go to www.gns3.com You need to open an account first before you can download GNS3 and to do that we click on sign in and then as you can see at the bottom we have login, create account and forgot password you click on create account and then you follow all the steps that needed to open an account like filling your name email and all the stuff that you need to fill and the account is free of charge let me go back and log in because i already have an account and now that i have logged in to download our software we click on free download so that you can open another gui and on this graphical user interface i'm going to choose windows because i use op windows operating system and then you'll click on download but i'm not going to download it because i've already installed gns3 on my computer to install gns3 is as easy as abc all you have to do is to follow the steps that the graphical user interface is giving you up until you finish with the installation and when you are done with the installation click on a run appliance on my local computer radio button then click next until you get to finished and then click finished and uh, that's all you have to do and also take note gns3 will install other applications such as wireshark and map and party now that we are finished with the installation and we have opened our graphical user interface for gns3 we need to import our micro chr and to do that i'll click on edit and then we click on preferences we are going to use virtual box so i'll click on virtual box vms and then we click on new button and then as you can see here's our micro tick that we installed or downloaded micro tick chr that's that's the name that i gave to my cloud hosted route okay and then i'll click finished and as you can see here are the specifications for my micro tick chr you can see the RAM is 5.12 and when you go to network adapters I have one name format is starting with Ethernet 0 and for me to do my lab test I'm gonna need more than one adapter or more than one port because I need to connect to other microtik devices and it won't be possible with one adapter and also I'm going to change the name format to start with port 1 because my, we all know Microtik devices start with Ether, Ether 1. Okay, and to do that, I'll click on Edit. Before I can change anything, let me start with my symbol. I prefer to use Classic. And then I'll choose the icon of a router. And I'll click OK. From there, I'll go to Network. And I'll make the number of my adapters to be 8. And then I'll go to Name Format and write Port 1 so that it can start with port 1 and I'll click OK and also I'll click OK so that I can save the changes that I made on, on my configuration now to be able to configure micro chr on GNS3 using Winbox we need to create virtual network interface card and to do that on my search box I will type run and then 
I'll open my run app and on my app I will type hwwiz.exe and then click OK. And for the user account control question, I'll click on yes so that I can carry on with my installation. I'll click next and then I'll choose the radio button of install the hardware that I manually select from a list. Then I'll click next and then I'll go down. We are looking for network adapter. Okay, I'll click network adapter and click next. On manufacturer, we are going to select Microsoft and then model. I'll select Microsoft KM test loopback adapter and then you click next. And then as you can see, it's in hardware to install Microsoft KM test loopback adapter. To start installing your new hardware, click next. So you will click next and then your virtual network interface card will be installed. And then when it's done, you will click finished. I'm not gonna install it because I already have, have created one for myself. Okay, I'll click cancel. After you are done with your virtual network interface card, you need to assign it an IP address in the scope or subnet that your router OS is going to be in. And to do that, on your bottom right, you can click the computer icon and I'll click network and internet setting. Then you click on ethernet and then you go to change adapter options. On the GUI that open, go to your virtual network interface card. Here's my virtual network interface card, the one that I named GNS3. You double click it and then click on properties. Then you double click internet protocol version 4. I'm going to use 10.0.0.0 network with subnet mask 255.255.255.0 or slash 24. I'll click OK. OK on everything. Let me close. And I'll close. Also close here. Yeah. And now that I'm done with assigning IP address, I'll make a lab test. Let me put my Mercotic CHR on my working on my workplace. And I'll also select the cloud. The cloud is going to represent my computer or virtual network interface card. So before I can connect them, I need to configure the cloud. I'll double click it. And then as you can see, it only shows Ethernet and Secure Line. And for me to show my GNS3 virtual network interface card, I need to click on the dialog box of Show Special Ethernet Interfaces. I'll click it. Then I'll click the drop down arrow to select GNS3. Then I'll click Add and click OK. Now I'll go take a cable so that I can connect my cloud to my micro HR. I'll connect it on Ether1. The next step is to give my micro HR an IP address in the same scope as my cloud. Okay, and to do that, I'll go to my Oracle Virtual Box and to log in, username is admin. And password is 1234 Enter. And to assign my micro HR and IP address, I'll give the command IP address add address is equal to 10.0.0.1 slash 24. And interface is equal to ether1. And I'll press Enter. And that's all I needed to do on my Oracle Virtual Box. Now that I have assigned both my virtual network interface card and my micro HR and IP address from the same network, my next step is to test if there's a communication between my CHR and my virtual network interface card. And to do that, I'll open command prompt on the search box. I'll type CMD, then I'll click on command prompt to open it. And then I'll ping 10. Dot zero dot zero dot one, which is my micro HR. Enter. And as you can see, we have communication. Packet sent is equal to four. Received is equal to four. Lost is equal to zero. Okay. And my last step is to open my Winbox and to connect to my micro HR. I'll use the IP address ten dot zero dot zero dot one. And my username is admin. Password it's one two three four five six seven eight. And then I'll click connect. And then as you can see, right now, 
I'm inside my win box and then if I can go to IP and then address we can see there's our address 10.0.0.1 slash 24 the network is 10.0.0.0 and it's assigned to Ithawa that's all we had to share for today hope this lesson was informative and if you gained a lot from this lesson Please don't hesitate to share with someone who will also benefit from it. And please don't forget to click the notification bell and subscribe button so that you can be notified whenever we drop another lesson. And feel free to leave comments, whether it's criticism or positive comment. They help us to grow our channel and improve our content. With that, let me love and leave you. Have a blessed day. May God bless you all. Thank you.